Kids, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are watching the Twisted Sisters, the Twisted, yeah, the Twisted Twins, um, the two sisters who um, confess to killing their, murdering their mother. So yeah, let's get right into it. The video is already 14 minutes long, so I don't want to make it more longer. So yeah. And here, what you're about to see is very graphic. Oh, but this horrible crime never went before a judge or a jury, and we believe it is important for you to hear the truth about what really happened inside that house between those twins and their mother. Katie? Well, DeMarco, through open records request, 11 Alive has obtained critical evidence that never made it into a courtroom. Crime scene photos, interrogation tapes, surveillance video, and finally, the twins' tape confessions. These puzzle pieces show the twins as they spin a web of denials and what investigators used to unravel it. Identical twins share everything. Birthdays, clothing, even DNA. But Jasmia and Tasmia Whitehead also share a dark past. These twins admitted to murdering Thank their you. mother, a confession that came after four months of lying to cover it up. Twin girls had come home and found their mother deceased at first glance these two sweet 16 year old girls had just discovered a gruesome scene it was the bloodiest scene i think i've ever been to january 13th 2010 one of the girls flags down a passing police car inside their home conyers police find their mother dead after a brutal attack wait did they call the police so you were just driving by and you just the blood down the copper the iron smell the girls known as taz and jazz are described as visibly distraught and taken into the care of conyers police you come over here sweetheart like i don't now, understand how people could do that like have never been seen how? by the public jazz like screaming which they said i looked that way y'all saw like blood all over the floor we were treating them as like i don't understand how can you murder somebody and then have the balls to act like you didn't do it. Like, I don't understand that. Like, what? You will have to be a real psychopath to just finish murder, like, brutally, brutally killing somebody. Blood all over the fuck. Look at this. Look at this. Blood all over the floor. Not even anybody. Your mother. Like, the person who gave birth to you. You're literally walking all over their blood, all over the floor. And then you, you're sitting there acting like you don't even know what happened to her or it, telling people that you're not the one that did it. What? I will be messed up. Like, I will be completely messed up. I don't even know how people do this. Like, what? This is crazy to me. Victims, witnesses that came home, found their mother, you know, dead. Remember, these girls admit it. This is all an act. She's not going to come back. Several times, Jazz asked for her mother. You have got to be kidding me. A mother that she, along with her sister, murdered. Gotta be strong with you. Got to. I'm going to make sure you find a person that did it. The people who did it are in this room, lying to police. There is a little red thingy that sit on like the, one of the, the tables. I didn't see it. There's a vase, a big, giant red vase. It was that it been used to strike their mother more lies some laced with truth why didn't their mom goes just show up right there but that is slapping that more she's talking about i want my mom like you killed your mother you killed your mother like what and they really think like their acting is so good who do they think they're fooling with that kind of stupidness That's true. Nikki Whitehead's lifeless body was dragged to the bathtub. And there were drag marks that went from the mat the living room into the master bedroom into the master bathroom. Listen, as Jazz actually admits to touching her mother's dead body. Later, police would learn she not only touched her, she cut her, bit her, and along with her sister, nearly severed her mother's spinal cord. That night... What the hell did their mom do to them that they had to do all of this? But, like, what, what I was going to say is, like... So how the hell she didn't think she was going to get caught when she had teeth marks all over the lady? 
your de your your freaking saliva, your teeth mark, everything is still on her. And you think you're not going to get caught with that? Like, why do people do these type of things and think they're not going to get caught? Like, what made you think you're going to kill somebody and then not get caught? You have to be, like, the most smartest motherfucker on this planet Earth to not get caught with a murder. Like, what? Even if you don't get caught that day, you're going to get caught someday. If it's not on Earth, you're getting caught in heaven. Like, what the hell? Oh, my freaking goodness. Teeth mark? She was trying to eat her mother? Like, what the hell? He started to have suspicions. There's just something didn't happen. <coughs> something didn't seem right. At all. Is she locked the door? Is she got a lock that you didn't have a key to? Is she locked the door at night? Yo, they put this story together. Like, when they were on that bus to go to school? Oh. You walked all the way back down? But this surveillance tape shows the girls walk to a gas station and hitchhike to school with a stranger. Is that the you wore school today? Yo, and arrive there two hours late, as seen here on this school surveillance camera. Take all your classes today. By now, police are getting suspicious. Hey girls, we're gonna have to get you guys clothes, and I'll tell you why. When they were walking to that school, they were like, the you know what this is about. We just talk about this little about this little about this little about this little about this by this handwritten letter recovered by police at the scene. It was sent from Jazz to her boyfriend. She says, I just hate living here, being with her. Presumably to hide their injuries, both girls wear gloves indoors, but police quickly noticed and asked that they be taken off. Let me see your She points to her sister, but the fight was actually with her mother. They both had what could have been bite marks or scratch marks on their hands. Taz had a bite mark on her left arm. Detectives decide it's time to separate the girls. All right, uh, Taz, I want you to come out here and sit with him for a minute. I want to talk to your sister. Why are y'all going to separate us? Yeah, because now y'all going to have two sound, different stories. It sounds Police will now compare stories, and unlike the twins, they're far from identical. Tonight, identical killers now with identical sentences for killing Look at their the own face, twin like... sisters, Jasmia and Tasmia Whitehead. They were just 16 years old, 16 at the time of the brutal attack. Now, last night, we showed you never-before-seen video that shows the girls' initial lies to police. Tonight, Katie Beck has the video that shows the two sides of the two teens. Well, Brenda, the twins weeping and sobbing and asking for mom. Now, you saw the interrogation room video last night. It was all an act, and it was an act police ultimately don't believe. Watch tonight as the tough questions start to rattle the twins and just how rattled they get when they're finally arrested. All right. Uh, Ted, I want you to come out it's here. It's crazy, like... I have chills down my back because like police start to set their sights it's kind of on hard watching and stuff Tasmia as you actually know as suspects in they their are mother's lying. murder. It started to become clear that at the very least they were being deceptive. Like when the twins told police how they'd been horrified to find their home covered in blood. Jazz, like screaming, they said I looked that way, and all I saw was like blood all over the floor. Like I they wish that, that police officer could just pull that this slap. Slap in her mouth. Too much. Investigators Make smell two teeth bleach come out. Carpet, like, what the hell? Clothes in the wash and Seriously lying like this. Thrown away. Is that the clothes you wore at school today? But not the clothes she wore during the murder. Any information you think I might want to know? They yeah. put their clothes in the washer and... Every, yo, the they thought about this. show their nerves, perhaps their guilt, especially Jasmia, seen here rocking back and forth. You think we did? Why did it? Denial after denial. The separated twins try to stick to their story, but being apart is wearing them down. They're making them very uncomfortable. Come on, sit down. Be calm, sit down, okay? Don't do nothing crazy, all right? I just need to be calm and sit right there. The firmer police get, the more lies the girls tell. Those fresh cuts and bites on both of their hands and arms. They first tell police they got in a fight with each other, then exchange that lie for another. The twins were claiming that the bite marks they, they had on them 
were self-inflicted, that it's a nervous reaction that they would have. Jazz tries to act out that lie for the cameras as she bites her own hands. Meanwhile, her sister Taz, also aware of the camera, performs another act. <laughs> And prays aloud, hoping to catch her mother's killer. The girls went home with their great grandmother that night. They went to school, had a social life, perhaps started to believe that they'd gotten away with it. But police were watching them all the while and building a case. Nearly four months later, their time was up. Once we got on both arrests, at least they lasted four months. Up. Like they um, actually went four months said, said thinking they like they actually got away with this. This is an audio recording of the girls talking on the day of their arrest. <laughs> The twins' tone has changed. The two sweet victimized twins were long gone. They gone. Just the coming out in the voice again. <coughs> they have four About months to get brave like that. Is how you know if you want to charge me, find a murder weapon. <laughs> Once in police custody and in jumpsuits, faced with a murder trial, the twins' tone would change again. Of course, it changed. Finally, break down. Of course, it changed because now they know reality has set in and they're going to jail. Tonight, you'll see those same twin sisters admit to brutally killing their mother. Their mother. This week, 11 Alive cracked open their the case mother. file of Wait. Jasmia and Tasmia Whitehead. And tonight, the most chilling details yet. Katie Beck is here with the twins' confession. Well, Brenda, we pick up almost exactly four years after the crime. The twins about to go to trial. Instead, they accept a 30-year sentence. Wait, 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 wait what? I thought it was four months. They actually the was, they was actually free for four it years? Or they were in jail for four years before they had, actually had, like... A fight with their mother after waking up late for school. So I guess she tried to hit us with the pot. You know, she just threatened us and everything. The girls say they got the pot away from her, but it was the start of an all-out brawl. The mom's yelling. We all yelling. Everybody's yelling. We all is mad. I had to pop from her. This one she had grabbed my kind of turn around and said, get back. But she didn't keep the knife in her hand. My mom is, is, is winning that, that battle with the knife or whatever, so I, I picked up the pot. Jazz breaks this red vase over her mother's head. It was the first sign of blood, and her mother fought back. She beat me when she was chased. I got to tell her I'm not that big. So she's, when she beat me, she latched on to me. I'm trying to get her off of me because it hurts. I'm trying to punch her, I guess. And um, I think Jazz stay up there. After more fighting, Jazz says at some point she begins to choke her mother with this ribboned medallion she won as a child. Her mother delivers a swift backhand blow, catching her by surprise. So I was stunned. I think I picked up a knife and I stabbed her. They were in cuts like they were deep because I... I couldn't bring myself to do that. After all the biting, punching, screaming, <coughs> and stabbing, the twins drag their mother into the bathtub. Neither really explain why. Do you have the hands? Yeah, I think I have one that was at the top. And, and Jazz had her, her feet? Yeah, she was, she was heavy. What did y'all do? They put her in the tub. But Nikki Whitehead was still alive. In fact, she was talking to the twins. What's she saying? She... What are you saying to her? I'm sorry. I'm not I'm sorry. Minutes later, they would watch their mother die. She went under a couple times and that was it. When that was it, let me use your words, when that was it, what did you and your sister do? I guess we shot. The first time you, some one of them stabbed her was supposed to be. Well, the first time you even hit your mom should have been the first shot.
The girls admit that when they returned, they expected the police would be there and their mother would not. The sight of what they had done was overwhelming. So, let me just, let me just say something like that. So, they did that brutal attack to their mom, left their mom in the freaking bathtub, went to school, didn't call the cops, but they expected the cops to be at the house when they get home, when they didn't call the cops? Who knew that your mom was in the bathtub um, full of blood? I don't understand. Like, if you and your mom have an argument, your mom trying to hit you with a You know how many things I've been hit with? I've been hit with a lot of stuff. A lot of different type of stuff. Why? Is their type of parenting. So, if you get into that situation with your mom, you don't go and hit your mom or you don't go and murder your mom. You could. Why didn't they just leave the house? They said their school wasn't far. They could have just gotten dressed and ran their asses to school. Or gotten themselves out the house. Or just let their mom talk. Like, what the heck? Like she said, her mom picked up the pot, but I think it was a knife or something. Her mom picked up the knife and she put the knife down. She don't. She didn't really have any intention. I mean, I don't know her actual intentions or what was going on in the house. But I think when they got to like that situation where they felt the need to pick up a knife and stab their mom, they should have just left the house. They should have just left. And then they would have been out of this trouble, out of this problem. Or the first time they stabbed their mother or somebody hit her with the pot, I'm pretty sure she she went down the first time. And then they kept going, and then that's how she started fighting them. Because I don't think they were just standing there, and she just started fighting them. I don't, like I said, I don't know what was going on in the, I don't know what was going on in the house. But at the same time, I'm, I me when I, when my parents start talking to me, I just literally let them talk. If they have to hit me, they have to beat me with the belt, the slippers, whatever. I will allow it to happen, and then I just leave the house. If you just leave the house, you, they are your parents. She is your mother. She is the mother. She is the person that brought you into this world. The last thing you heard from your mama was, I hate you and you're going to jail. And they are okay with that. Like, they went to school, acted like nothing happened. On their way to school, they're over here planning how they were going to get rid of their mom. And then you get home. Like, how are they not traumatized? Like, I, that's, that's, like that's like the craziest part. How are they not traumatized? I think I missed their age. I don't know how old they are. But they look very young. How the hell are they not traumatized? You go to school. You wake up. Your morning consists of you murdering your mother. You washed your clothes. All the blood is still in the house. Isn't that still running through your mind? Like, during the, your whole day in school, isn't that still running through your mind? Shouldn't, like, teachers or friends be like, there was something wrong with her that day. There was something wrong with them that day. There was something wrong. Like, because... From y'all conversation, y'all look like y'all was at peace. Y'all knew. I don't know what. Was. That that lady had to have done a lot of stuff to them. Or they must have. Because that's like built up hate. To just do that and not have any type of remorse. Because the only time in the videos. The, from the video. The only time it looked like they actually have some type of remorse. Is when they got caught. And they know their ass is going to jail. Like, what, is, what was the situation? I wish they had just talked about the relationship before the incidents and stuff like that. Because now I just want to get to know, like, what was that? What was their relationship like? Because they cannot just get mad because <clears throat> their mom woke them up for school. And that was something that made you mad. No. Something deeper. Something more deeper is going on. was going on in that house. And then they're going, they're living there. How sure are we that now we're going to kill their grandmother? If their grandmother try to beat them, like, what the hell? I don't know. I don't know. Other people handle things differently. Other people handle abuse differently. Well, discipline differently. I don't know. But it did not have to come down to you actually murdering your mother and feeling happy about it. Like, come on now. But anyways, that's the end of this video. Oh, I think, did it, the video end? Well, anyways, we're going to just stop right there because I'm pretty sure there was no more. Well, like I said, 
there was something more going on in the house. And this girl, the girl that they took out the room, she looked like she's the older, the older twin, and she looked like she's the, she's like the mastermind behind everything. Like, I, I just don't understand. Like, but anyways, I, you, you will never know how what's going on in people's mind half of the time. People are planning your murder, and you don't even know. They probably had a conversation about this. But anyways, that's the end of this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed. Hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I post a video. And please, please, guys, make good choices. Stay out of trouble. Because, trust me, we don't want to see y'all in the news. This is not what way you're supposed to, your life is supposed to end. So, make good choices. Bye.